Okay, well, we're coming back over here. Looks like they're looking for someone. Oh my gosh. gosh. Welcome to our vlog today. So as you can see behind me, we're in a different vacation rental. It's a little cabin. So I wasn't gonna mention this at all actually, but last night I was wearing my trusty Adidas slides that I probably just should never wear anymore. Slippery Adidas. Yeah. And I stepped on a really slippery surface here in the house and I fell. I thought I just hurt my shoulder, which is why I'm vlogging with my left hand, which is really awkward and hard. Also Matt's like massaging my back, so I'm sorry it's wobbly. Um, but my arm went like straight up in the air sort of and I was like, oh, I think I torqued my shoulder, which I definitely did. But then this morning I woke up and then my back was hurting so bad that I couldn't walk. So I guess we're going to the chiropractor on vacation now. Okay, well, where are those shoes today? Did you find some cars, Owen? He's super happy, he found toys. Everyone's literally in the car though, except for myself and Owen, and that's because I cannot walk fast at all. So this is me slowly walking. Yes, I'm still wearing my Adidas slides because I couldn't put my shoes on this morning. Owen really wants to bring this toy with us, so we're just sanitizing it really well. He just found it in the house, and he likes it. Before we go to the chiropractor, we're gonna go to the grocery store. You guys looking at chicken over here? Christine stayed in the car because she could barely walk. We just got to the chiropractor. Matt's seeing if I can go in early or if we have to wait. Oh, I can go in early. Sweet. Heading back. All right, I finished with the chiropractor. Obviously, you don't feel better immediately, but I think I will feel better. So I'm excited to actually go have a fun day now. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's a buffalo out there. Okay, we're gonna stop and take a look. We just put off the rope because we found a bison. Chris has a good strategy, looking at the buffalo from behind the tree. And we're literally like on the street, so we're not approaching, we're safe. I know. What a lucky find. It's just over there eating. Pleasant. Close. Never been that close to, to a wild animal to 2,000 pounds, yeah. But we know. did keep our distance recommended by the park 25 years. Yes, we did. We learned about buffaloes. Heather was reading to us. This is the only, tell us, Heather. It's like the only um, natural occurring. Well, I would say, I, I don't know their exact word, but basically it's one of the only birds that still has been around for hundreds, if not thousands of years, left in North America that hasn't been interbred with cattle. So it's like a Practically prehistoric, but not prehistoric. It's an old herd that's been a very pure, off. old yeah, herd. The only natural, natural one left because there's farmland and everything else, so they don't have anywhere else to go. Yeah. We're driving up here because there's a whole bunch of buffalo right by the road. First of all, there's a hot spot right there, and then look at this bison just like right outside the car. Sorry for the dirty window. Real cows. Are those cows? You're silly. Baby line. Hi, Bison. There's some tailgate turkey sandwiches. We parked next to that huge camper so we could have some shade, and there it goes. How's it taste? Yeah. It's really good, actually. Yeah. Owen really wants to go. Somebody to else is wanting something. Unfortunately, I'm just going to be working on walking. So step by step, we'll eventually get there. You want some, Owen? Cheese or bread? No. Check out that truck, guys. Is it good? I think it's really good. <laughs> we were hungry. We just reparked our car and we finally got some good luck because see those lines behind me? It's literally the first spot. And the reason why the first spot is important is because this parking lot is absolutely huge. But that's where we're going. So I don't have to walk as much with my hurt back. We found the visitor center that we've been wanting to go to just because we love stamping our book. But it's closed. I like how they make predictions. Very helpful. We found a place to stamp. Yay! Uh, 
Almost better than nothing. Okay. Give those to Heather. Yeah, we're gonna keep them in our book. Good job. Good job. Good job. Yes. Thank you. Oh my gosh, stickers. So at this park for now, they charge you for the Junior Ranger program, but it comes with your patch and your book, and then you can do it on your own since of, because of coronavirus. Usually you go back to the ranger station and they sign you in, but we get to do it on our own now. We're coming up to Castle Geyser on the right up here. This is the one we were watching after it was pitch black last night. So you guys can see how it looks in the daytime now. It was freezing cold, wasn't it? Oh yeah, we're almost to where we're going. Chris's strategy is run ahead, find a bench so he can read his book, and then catch up. There's a closer look at Castle Geyser. It's so fascinating because this looks kind of like, you know, desolate and dry. Yeah, and then you come upon these water spots. It's crazy. This is just such a fascinating park. There's so much wind when this one shoots up, it hits you with water. You guys see Matt over there? Okay. Oh yeah. There's a lot of people waiting for this one to go off. Oh, well, now it's just a waiting game. <laughs> yes, he is. We've got a good view though. Front row seats. With my love cuddling my arm. Thank you. It's about to go. Coming soon. Grand Geyser is the world's tallest predictable geyser. It's a fountain geyser. There we go. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Look at the rainbow. Wow. Look at that. Oh, do you like it? Now 
we're gonna walk to the next spot. This is the runoff from the geyser. It's beautiful. That's Matt down there walking. Pretty, huh, guys? Yeah. Say me if you're having literally like the best day ever. Okay, good, because me too. <laughs> this is good exercise, honestly. We're walking like five or six miles a day. This looks pretty interesting. Wow. I have to say this has probably been one of the most fun family trips we've ever been on. It's been super spontaneous, but we just like do what we want. We have no plans. If we like something, we stay longer. It's just been day awesome. Day to day, go with the flow. Yes. The Grotto Geyser. The eruption can go from 50 minutes to 24 hours. Oh my gosh, that's a long eruption. You can sure hear that one over there. It's pretty impressive. You guys good balancers? Yeah. Oh look. There's my cute little Owen baby. Are you wearing your new Mickey Mouse shoes? Yeah. yeah. Careful. Oh, not yet. We got a lot of walking to do. He will help him walk on the line. Who's your favorite? What about Mama? Is Mama your favorite too? Tell everyone, tell everyone, who's your favorite? And, and what about Mama? And Mommy and Gigi. Oh, good. And Mommy and Gigi. And Ayesha. Good, good. That part we just passed goes right down here and back into the river. This is probably the best color one yet. Wow. It is beautiful. This is Morning Glory Pool. Wow. How pretty. It's even prettier now. Look at this. I thought we saw the prettiest angle, but I think this is actually the prettiest angle. I wish that was a pool. Wouldn't that be amazing if you could swim in something like that? Yeah. Man. So pretty. This was the furthest walk on the whole trail to get to, but it was so worth it. Don't you think? It's so pretty. So beautiful. Yeah. Owen's racing everybody. He's telling them what to be. Fire trucks, yeah. 18 wheelers, and busters. He pretty much wants everyone to be 18 wheelers. Oh, the oh. He's winning. He said full steam ahead. <laughs> and the nicest brother of work goes to Chris. We just finished the long walk back and Matt's gonna pick us up so I don't have to walk any further than I absolutely have to today. So while we're waiting for him, we're gonna go into the general store, if it's open. They closed nine minutes ago. We have the worst luck. <laughs> well, they were nice. They told us where else we could look, but we're gonna stay here. We're on this little rocking chair and we're just gonna really wait for Matt. Now. Yeah, we're just kind of sitting. Okay, Matt found us, so we're gonna get in the car and I don't know what our plans are after this. We're gonna go check out the Grand Prismatic. It's a lot of water. This is a geyser crater and it's massive. Do not mark bacterial mats. Oh, that's what these are. Oh, yeah. These are bacterial mats. Interesting. Look at this. This is kind of creepy walking along here. So we don't have the best view because of the time of day right now. So we're definitely going to come back. But this is awesome still. So impressive. We're on the way home and look out the window. A big bison. Okay, don't mind the windshield, but there's a bison on the road up ahead. Matt's cleaning the window for us so we can see it. Put your light down. There he is. Wow. And there he is. Need a ride, buddy? That was so cute because you could hear its little feet walking along the ground. I think its feet are actually also, rather big, not little. Okay, cute. Fine. Big feet. I that thing was, was a beast. Something else is cute. It's Owen sleeping. Oh, with his little friends. And my little go go. We're walking along this little boulevard here. There's not much in this town, but there is like a couple little stores. Zach's checking out all the cars. I found this shirt for Alyssa that I really hope fits her because it's super cute. We came across this really good deal, plus the guy gave us a 10% off card. So guys, 
Should I get a new sweatshirt even though I don't need one? Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, I got a sweatshirt. It is cold out here, so it works, but look what I have in here. I used to have so many of these as a kid. Oh my gosh, memories. Ah, oh, Christopher's room. <laughs> So I bought something at the store. He was really excited when he saw that, so we got it. So I'm gonna get in the car and I'm just gonna see if Matt notices that I got a new sweatshirt. I think he will, but if he doesn't, I'm walking towards the car right now. I'm just gonna casually get in. He just got a little name tag thing. Oh yeah, Alyssa, I got you something. It's cute, huh? I didn't get you anything this time. Did you get this? I did! Huh? He noticed! Of course I noticed. I was trying to see if he would notice or not. That's what five star happens too. Okay, so I'm gonna try to explain this as we drive. It's pitch black. And the road we were on had a blockage of some kind. It was completely dead stop traffic. So we saw this side road, which as you can tell, is completely a dirt road, but supposedly it's a cut through. So we're just taking it. We finally caught up to some other cars on this dirt road. It's insane. Yeah, you can tell by how I can't hold the camera straight. It's really bumpy. Yeah, I don't know how they're all doing it either. This is crazy. This is definitely our adventure for today. Update, we're still okay, so going. This bump, you should oh, probably right. go oh, a big bump, all the yeah. way to the left, maybe. I would, I, I would suggest. I'm gonna go further left. Yeah. Also, what's crazy is those big sticks to the left, you can't even see the top of them. They're taller than our car. They're like snow things, which I can't imagine driving on this road in the snow when the snow's taller than the car. Oh my gosh, we're gonna like um, hit the trees. Ah, oh, we're hitting trees. Well, I'm gonna go over to miss this tree and then we're gonna go all the way to the road. It's a big accident. Okay, well, we're coming back over here. Looks like they're looking for someone in the bushes or something. They're off road. There's tons of emergency vehicles. It looks, looks like, like there's a huge car. accident. Oh, yeah. the the truck already. Already. And there's one car over there, and then they're over here looking around. Maybe there's another car over there who's also involved in the accident. Like, there's a ton of cars. Which way can we go? To the right? Right, that's where we need to go. Yeah, that's the way we okay. need to go. We'll go see but we'll look, we definitely saved us. time because they're not letting traffic through yet. So that was oh for sure gosh. a better decision than seeing it. Oh my gosh, there's a motorcycle involved. Oh, oh my gosh. That motorcycle is completely trashed. That's oh my gosh. On the other side of the road, you can hardly see the cars because everyone's just standing outside their car. Cars are completely off. Everyone's just sitting because this accident was so major that it's blocked the whole entire two lane freeway. Yeah, we're probably giving out a false performance. Look, people are outside with their dogs. Oh my gosh. People are probably just like, let's look for wildlife because this is a really, that accident's gonna take a while to finish cleaning up too. This is crazy how many cars are stuck here in such long traffic. This is such a nightmare. I feel bad for everyone involved in the accident. Oh, I know. Wow, we oh, made it home. Oh, nice. They brought me a heating pad for my back. Good, because I can literally still barely walk. I know I've been acting happy in our video, but I'm still hardly walking. <laughs> Christina's a pro. She walked like five miles today. 5.91. Well, I think it's time for us to say goodbye. It was a very interesting day for sure. Before I go, I want to remind you guys to follow us all on Instagram because we are giving shout outs. We're going to give some tonight after we answer a question that one of you guys submitted on Instagram. So are you ready for the question? Yeah. What's your favorite color? I like it's kind of like a light blue. It's very light, kind of like the sky. I like red and teal. I like every color. I like pink and pretty much every Rainbow. color. Rainbow. Rainbow. Rainbow, yes, I like all colors. So does Owen. I like blue and orange. If you're wondering what the clinking in the kitchen was, it was Heather and Alyssa working on dinner. Very late at night, which wasn't expected, but we had a delay. So, girls, what's your favorite colors? Pink. I like 
I kind of like this color, little bluish teal color. Teal. David, what's your favorite color? Green. What's your favorite thing to bake? Banana bread, just not this specific one. I like to make pop tarts. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like to eat. I like to eat. I like to eat. Oh, and looks like he's got a diaper on ready for bed already. Whoa. <laughs> you are very good at cooking hot tarts. William Dickinson 16 and Melanie Caitlin, thank you for the follows. Ariana Rose and Haley Fanpagey, thanks for the likes and comments. Thanks for watching our video today, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.